Hi, and welcome to another Lure Fishing for Rass UK video. Um, well, today, what I'm going to be talking about is how to make Z-Man weedless. Now, we all know when we Texas rig them that we can get the hook like that, which is all well and good. Um, but the way Z-Man are, because they're so tough, it's very, very difficult to actually skin the hook. Now, normally for skinning the hook, we'll pull the lure that way and let it come back like that. Um, but even though this hook is seriously sharp, as you can see, it's just caught my finger there rather than the actual plastic. So, how do we get around this? Uh, well, the problem we can quite often get, even rigging them like this, is when you bring the lure back from um, just working it through a swim, is that you can end up with a hook point proud like that, and therefore it's not particularly weedless. So we've got two options. Now, the first option we've got, having spoken to um, American Bass Pros about this who use Z-Man, is using your scissors. Uh, these are serrated ones, and I don't think you'd get away without them being serrated. And here's another one here that I've prepared earlier in Blue Peter style. Um, now what I've done here, I've actually cut a hook slot just there in the bait. I don't know how well this is going to um, show up. But that way you can push the hook into this new hook slot that you've created, therefore making it weedless. Okay, It's not perfect by a long way, but it's not bad. Um, fairly obviously when a fish bites, you know, the hook's then exposed. Now the other way we can get around this is to use things like these. Now these were horrendously expensive when I bought them. Um, I don't know whether they're still available in the UK. Um, if not, you can get some very, very small O-rings um, from eBay and the like to do the same job. So what do these silicon stoppers do? Well, let's show you. So what we do, we take the little bait off there. Um, and we get our silicon stopper. This is me looking through a phone, so I'll try not to stab myself. There we go, no blood. Well, hey. Right. You thread the stopper all the way back onto the hook shank. Then you re hook your bait. And it will go through, like so. And then with the silicon stopper, we then slide the stopper up to there. So, what that's in effect is doing is keeping the hook point pressed down into the bait. Um, it works very well. Um, I like using Z-Man. They're great for RAS because RAS can't destroy them <laughs> and they can destroy most plant soft plastic lures. Um, but using a silicon stopper like that does make a big difference. I hope this has helped and if you would like to give me a nice big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel when, and watch all the other videos there, we'd really appreciate it. If you've got any questions, please leave them below. Many thanks. Bye now.